components for the Copilot 382 printing system are the Copilot 382 controller with power cord, printhead mounting hardware, 382 printhead with photo cell mounting bracket, photo cell, data cable, ink reservoir, and printhead mounting bracket mounted on a standard rolling printhead stand. Very few tools are needed to assemble the Copilot 382 printing system. First mount the ink reservoir to the printing system mounting bracket. The ink reservoir contains a vent tube, priming bulb, dust cap for shipping. On the bottom there are two mounting screws an ink line to the printhead that contains an inline check valve and a low ink alarm data cable. To mount the ink reservoir, line up the Allen screws with the appropriate slots on the printhead mounting bracket. Tighten the Allen screws. Mount the Copilot 382 printer. Notice there is a shipping cover installed on the front of the 382 printer, a photo cell bracket, ink line fixture, data cable connection, vent tube, and a low ink alarm connector. There are two mounting holes to mount the down shooter bracket on the bottom of the 382 printhead. The down shooter bracket is directional. Ensure that it is facing in the right direction when it's placed on the printhead. Use the two supplied screws to mount the printhead onto the down shooter bracket. Use only the supplied screws. Using screws other than those supplied may damage the printhead. Remove the swing arm rotating pin from the down shooter bracket. Slide the swing arm into position on the down shooter bracket and replace the swing arm rotating pin. The printhead is now mounted on the downshooter bracket assembly. Mount the rotating bracket assembly onto the printhead mounting post. Tighten the rotating bracket mounting screw. Slide the printhead and the down shooter bracket assembly into the rotating bracket. Tighten the rotating bracket screws when the printhead is at the proper orientation. Printhead to ink reservoir height is very important. Ensure that the bottom of the printhead is at the same level as the top of the ink reservoir. Connect the ink line from the ink reservoir to the 382 printhead. The ink line contains an inline check valve and an ink line connector. Firmly sink the ink line into the ink connection on the printhead and tighten the collar.
connect the low ink alarm data cable to the low ink alarm data cable connection on the back of the printhead. The Copilot 382 controller contains a touch screen, an on off power switch, power cord receptacle, USB port, Ethernet port, data out cable connection, and a data in cable connection. Printhead 1 data cable connection and Printhead 2 data cable connection. On the bottom of the controller there are two mounting screws. Line the mounting screws up with the appropriate openings on the printer system mounting bracket. Position the controller and tighten the two mounting screws. Connect the data cable between the co-pilot and the 382 printhead. Remove the shipping cap from data connection point for printhead 1 and connect the data cable. Connect the other end of the data cable to the data cable connection point on the back of the 382 printhead. The photocell is very easy to mount and connect. Simply unscrew one of the plastic mounting nuts from the front of the photocell. Insert the photocell into the mounting bracket. Replace the photocell mounting nut. And connect the photocell data cable to the data in connection located on the back of the copilot controller. To install the ink cartridge, remove the shipping dust cover from the ink reservoir. Check the label on the ink cartridge to ensure the appropriate ink is being installed. The ink cartridge is shipped with a foil seal. Remove the foil seal from the ink cartridge. Position the ink cartridge at about the 2 o'clock position relative to the ink reservoir and firmly rotate into the 6 o'clock position. The ink cartridge is now seated into the ink reservoir. To prime the Copilot 382 printhead, first remove the shipping cover from the face of the printhead. After the shipping cover has been removed, replace the two shipping cover screws on the printhead. It is very important to remove the shipping cover before beginning operation. To prime the 382 printhead, Uncap the vent tube from on the 382 printhead.
cap the vent tube located on the ink reservoir. Hold a non-abrasive lint-free towel gently underneath the 382 printhead. Depress the printing bulb to begin advancing ink through the ink line and into the printhead. Continue to press the priming bulb until a small amount of ink seeps out of the vent tube from the 382 printhead. Have a paper towel ready to collect any excess ink that may drip from the vent tube. Recap the vent tube on the printhead. Once again, recap the printhead vent tube. Press the printing bulb a few more times. A small quantity of ink will drip from the nozzle face. To power up the Copilot 382 controller. Connect the power cord to the controller. Simply plug the power cord into the power cord receptacle and plug the other end into a properly wired and grounded outlet. Turn on the power switch. The Copilot controller will go through a short boot up sequence. When the Copilot has booted up, the home screen will display. On the home screen, you will find a printing, not printing status indicator, a printing, stop printing button, and a message library button. Select the message library button to select the desired message to print. In our example, we will print a default message. Select apply and the default message will load. Notice the default message is now ready to print and is displayed on the home screen. Ensure the copilot is in the printing mode and let's print our message. If you have any questions or concerns, please call Squid Ink Manufacturing at 1-800-877-5658.